getting results. Welcome back. It's time for Ask Trooper Steve, where we answer the questions you send in. And Steve, today we're talking about backing your vehicles in. Yes, and this could get complicated for some people. You would think it wouldn't, though. So <laughs> this is the question. If a parking space is too small and my vehicle blocks a portion of the sidewalk or roadway, can I receive a ticket? Now, most people are like, obviously you can, but I understand the question because, hey, it's a parking space mm -hmm. and all that jazz. So I saw you look at the photo. Did you see it completely? Look at that mess on the sidewalk. Oh. Right? So this pickup truck is in downtown Orlando. It was part of my what the honk the other days, but I'm gonna use it this morning because it fits perfectly. Yeah, so you can see it right yeah, there. Yeah, this is in downtown Orlando. These, these specifically say, do not back in. So this driver decided to do that, that also. So look, you cannot impede the flow of traffic, not only on the roadway, but also for pedestrians. So this could be cited. The city of Orlando is real quick with their parking enforcement. I was actually surprised there's no ticket on the window. So this would be a ticketable uh, situation. And look, if you cannot fit into a parking spot, if it says compact, find another place to go, parking garage, or maybe parallel park, this is a big no-no. And Steve, it's a safety hazard because now you're blocking a sidewalk right. that people need to use to Absolutely. walk around. Absolutely, yes ma'am. All right, well if you have a question for Trooper Steve, you can let him know on our website, just head to clickorlando.com slash Steve.